This local sports report is brought to you by the Inn of Waterloo and Conference Center. Check us out for all your conference, event, and guest room requirements for any of your out-of-town fans. Let us be part of your home team. We are here to exceed your expectations. Book now by calling 519-804-1130 or visit the theinnofwaterloo.com. He's got size, he's got skill, he is Jamison Ritz Teixeira, a defenseman with the Kitchener Junior Rangers under 18 program. Good to see you, Jamison. Hope you're keeping well. I know right now internal motivation is really important and trying to stay focused on things that you, that you can do right now. What are you doing to make sure that you're getting a little bit better every single day so that when we get back to the rink, you're ready to go? Um, so over quarantine, I invested some money in the home gym. So I'm trying to get stronger to improve my physicality. Um, I've been hitting the pond now and then when I can to improve, make sure I don't lose my skating ability, keep the ankles nice and strong so that when I'm able to get back on the ice, I'm hopefully ready to go. And that's one of the things that you're really known for, you know, first of all, your skating ability. Second of all, your size, you know, you're six foot three, 180 pounds. If, if you're standing in front of the net, ain't nobody else going to be there with you just because you can obviously move them out of the way. But you're also strong on the offensive side of the puck, too. You like to jump into the rush and, and help create some offense. Uh, what would you like scouts and coaches to know about you both on and off the ice as to who you are as a player? Um, I'm a very disciplined player. I want to put in the work every day to get better. I'm always trying to improve. I want to always be working on my weaknesses, finding new areas to improve on, on and off the ice, whether it's actual skill or leadership ability or just being a good teammate. I just want to be a good player out there the best I can be. Over the years, you, you've really developed and you've really moved from, from one level to another. And it, it's a real credit to you and the time and the effort and the intensity you put in host league to MD to single A to double A. And now this year is your first year of triple A hockey with the Kitchener Minor Hockey Association in, the, in their U18 program. Uh, well done, my friend. That's the first thing, you know, going through that process and getting yourself to triple A now as a 17 year old defenseman. Uh, what's it like to see the hard work paying off that you put in over the years? Um, it's really accomplishing it. It's taught me a lot of life skills to just work hard and go after your dreams. Like the hard work you put in will pay off eventually if you keep at it, stay consistent. So it's just something I want to carry on through different parts of my life. I think you should be really proud of yourself. And I mean that sincerely, right? Um, you know, it could have been very easy, you know, not to be motivated when you're a little bit younger. And now you're approaching the end of your minor hockey career and you're playing AAA hockey, which will hopefully get you noticed for whatever the next opportunity may be in whatever league that may be in. Um, what are your future goals in the game? And where would you like to see yourself, um, you know, down the line with hockey? I definitely want to make... Um just the highest level of junior hockey possible that I can. I want to keep improving every year to just try to keep the dream alive, just play as long as I can. I love the game. I love to play. Just want to keep her going. How much is holistic hockey? You've been with them now with Tyler Ertl. He's the head instructor at holistic. You've been with him now for a couple of years. He runs high performance sessions over the summer in Cambridge, as well as Kitchener. And obviously a high pedigree, high hockey IQ. Tyler knows the game and he knows how to help young men get to the next level. Um, how much do you credit Tyler for, you know, your success? And what can you say about the program that he's got at holistic hockey, Jameson? Oh, I can't say enough good things about holistic hockey. He finds different skills to work on that are easily transferable into a game. I feel more confident going into the new season every year or both years I've been with him, handling the puck, doing, trying new moves, working on them all throughout the summer. It's been a really big part of my improvement to making it to the next level, playing with guys that push me to seeing all the hard work that they're putting in it's it's really cool to see like what it takes to be at the next level I really appreciate how much you love the game 
and just enjoy it, you know, in its purest form. And, you know, playing minor hockey is one of the best experiences playing minor sports in general, whether that's basketball, football, lacrosse, baseball, doesn't matter. Um, it's always such a, just a great experience with, with life lessons and different things like that as well. Um, your passion comes from where, why do you love the game? Why did you get involved? And, you know, it, it's just something that's sort of in you. Is that what it is? Honestly, I just played the game when I was little, just put in hard work over the summer. And as I got better and better, I just became addicted to just working harder to see how good I can get, see how much I could improve. And it's kind of neat right now because you're back on the pond. Sort of like you would have been yeah, as a kid. Yeah. You know, I know you'd rather be at the Activa Sports Flex playing with the, the Junior Rangers, but hey, we'll, we'll get there. Eventually, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Um, you had the opportunity in the fall uh, to play some under 18 versus U16 KJR games. It was a good experience for you guys. Uh, what did you take away from that? And, and just what was it like to, you know, be part of that AAA team, get to know your teammates and really start to develop those systems? Um, well, we had really good chemistry out there with the team. Like everybody was always working hard. It was really inspiring to see how much everybody else just wants to be there and wants to put in the work. Everybody's on our team is just really passionate about every shift that they play. It was just really cool to see how much everybody loves working hard to be successful. If we're able to get back to the rink soon, hopefully soon, what can we expect from this group? What are some of the strengths? Is this an offensive team that's going to score five, six goals a game? Or what do you envision that way in terms of strengths of the team and outlook for KJR U18? I think we're a really gritty team. I think everybody is willing to sacrifice anything they can to better the team. I think everybody just works really well together. Everybody wants to be there. Everybody wants to work hard. So I think that we're just going to be a team that never quits, never gives up. And that all starts with head coach Ryan Yons. Obviously, he's a quality individual, a quality hockey coach. He's the leader of your group this year. I know it's only been a short stint that you've had with Ryan with some practices and, and some of those scrimmage games at the Activa Sports Flex. But what have you learned about him? What do you like about his coaching style? And why do you think he's a good fit for this group? I just think he's really passionate about the team. Like every drill we do, whether we're learning a new system, or just working on the power play. If we mess it up, like he'll want us to keep going and going no matter how long it takes until we get it to the way that he wants. He has a vision that he sees in his head that just makes the team click. Like you can just tell he's a passionate guy. He wants the team to do well. He's doing his best in the weird situation of a year that we've been put in. And it's just really cool to see. Keep working hard, keep doing your thing, keep that positive mindset. I think it's important. Thanks for the time, Jameson. Great catching up with you. And hopefully we will see you soon at the Activa Sports Flex to get back to hockey. Thank you. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.